it's Mr O'Mara here and I'm going to do task number 6, even or odd. So let's jump over to the PDF and have a look at this code. So, going up to page 17. So, what this introduces us to is a line of code that will work out what the remainder is of a particular equation. So, for instance, if I'm dividing 7 by 2, then I've got two lots, two lots of, sorry, I've got three lots of two and one remainder. So this is about working out if there's a remainder. And if you don't have a remainder, it means that your number fits in evenly. So for instance, you know, um, 10 divided by 5, so it's two lots of 5 with no remainder, so it divides in evenly. Now this is using it to work out even and odd numbers, so obviously if it's an, odd, an even number then you can divide it by 2 with no remainder, but if you get a remainder, say 7 for instance, if you divide it by 2, you get 3 lots of 2 and 1 remainder. So I, th I think this will make more sense when you see it in action. So let's grab their code and let's put it into the small basic um, program. So there we go, enter a number, so it's asking the user to enter a number, it's going to remember that as num. Now, the variable remainder is going to equal, and here's your thing, math remainder, and so you say num, which is what you've entered, divided by 2. So it's basically saying math remainder brackets whatever the number is divided by 2. And so if remainder equals 0, so if it's an even number, then you write this number is even. Now I'm going to change that, that shouldn't be a capital. Um, and if it's not an um, zero, then the answer is odd. So let's run this program. So enter a number. So my number is 12. The number is even. So it's divided 12 by 2, it's got 6 with no remainder, and it's decided that it's even. Let's run it again. So, enter a number, let's go for 3891. The number is odd, because it's divided by 2 and it's got a remainder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this program. So here's the first thing I'm going to do. Enter a number. So first thing I'm going to do is change that to say, enter your age. Okay, and instead of calling that number, I'm going to call that age. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have a copy of that which I'm going to put down here um, enter your age, enter your teacher's age and we're going to call that teacher now notice here it's saying um, read number so it's creating this variable as a number so remainder math remainder is going to be teacher divided by age. So it's your teacher's age divided by your age. So let's say for instance you're 15 and your teacher is 45. So that's going to divide in evenly. So if we go to this, so if there's no remainder, your age divides evenly into your teacher's age. Okay. Now this one is obviously going to be it doesn't. So it either does or it doesn't. And this is my variation on this, just to show that I understand how this works. You might want to do, I don't know, something, yeah, well you will want to do something different because it's showing your understanding, not mine. Your age does not divide, so your age does not uh, divide evenly into your teacher's age. Okay, now let's see if it works, because, you know, proof's in the pudding and all that. So run the code. Your age, let's see, I'll, I'll start with my daughter. Leela, how old are you? So she's eight. And how old was your old teacher? 60, okay. So we put that in. Your age does not, now I've written your age not not, so I need to fix that. Okay. So I go back to my code, instead of saying not not, does not, and again another typo there, does not, and let's run the program again. So let's say your age is 14, 
and your teacher's age is 28, your age divides evenly because there's two 14s in 28. So that's my example code, so I'm going to save that and I look forward to seeing yours.